Welcome back. Let's look at some unfortunate scenarios. <laughs> if you're having a bad day, just remember, you could be the guy who's driving a bus full of potential coronavirus carriers to quarantine while being observed by a man in a hazmat suit. <laughs> that face kind of says it all. <laughs> and this is not only one bus, but a, a lot of buses. <clears throat> Yep, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be that guy. I mean, the thing is, can't you drive in a hazmat suit? I would argue you can. And if the guy behind me has a hazmat suit, although I do understand that he's potentially touching, uh, well, he's most likely touching uh, the suspected sick people, still... I feel like I could get one as well. Although it seems like uh, this guy is having a bad day too. So apparently... But you know, you know, even if even if it's just, you know, my own paranoia, just give me one of those fucking suits, right? You know, it's not gonna hurt anybody, you know? It's like, it's like driving around with a helmet, you know? I can still see, it's okay, you know? If all being, if all the same to you, just give me one of those uh, funny suits. She traded me the window seat uh, before we got on the plane. <laughs> Damn. Everyone wants the window seats, right? I mean, the window seats are the best, right? Technically, you know? It's not gonna be... Like, the thing is, you're gonna have the best view, plus no one is gonna be like, Uh-oh, well, let, me, let me through. It's like, no. Fuck off. I'm just inside... I guess you gotta be the dick person, but like... You know, I don't mind being that. So I just gonna chill in the uh, in the back, you know, sleep and not like, you know, that's the, that's the worst. Like, oh my god, hey, hey, wake up! I gotta take a piss again. Uh, so yeah, it, it's sad, but what can you do? Maybe you can can you keep just uh, switching uh, places on the plane? Is it is it is it possible? But what kind of idiot would trade away his uh, window seat, right? You would need to be seriously well. Well, maybe you can make a deal. I don't know. <laughs> it's worth a try. Uh, that's an unfortunate lightning outage. Uh, Nazi hospital. Yeah, not the best brand, I have to say. But <laughs> I don't know. Would you have doubts about going to the hospital? Just imagine, may maybe not something. Uh, uh, life-threatening is happening to you and you just like look up the uh, Sydney and uh, Louis Eskenazi hospital yeah uh, but if you actually have a poor eyesight or looking at this from a uh, far away you're just gonna see Nazi hospital also if it's darker and it can easily be darker so yeah you just you just come to this hospital and you see Nazi hospital and I don't know you just uh, come for something that not sli not life threatening so you can walk away. Would you still go in? I'm saying that if I don't see anything else, I would I would this would make me double check you know like what is this hospital really? Like, I, I would have some doubt before stepping in here. And I might look up some nearby hospitals as well. You know, just to play it safe. If you thought smoking at a gas pump was bad. Yeah. But this just seems like a terrible design in the first place. Because, you know, you have so many uh, Tesla charging stations. But there is no... Fucks given, no attention given to actually making sure that they are usable. So, yeah, this is quite bad because you see like the grass around it. That's fine. It's like, okay, someone really fucked up here. Especially considering that you know you really don't want water near charging station. Imagine, I'm not exactly sure how these work. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that, you know, you, you can't just, like, you know, just, like, take it off and, like, uh, put it in the water and now you electrocute everything because that would be terrible design. But it is not completely out of the question that could happen, I suppose. You know, imagine that, you know, not just, you know, not just... Imagine that one of them also gets knocked over and I don't know, I don't know. Probably that it should have... It, it has some safety feature that it doesn't work. But 
what I'm saying is if I saw one of these suckers knocked over, I would be super sure to not even get remotely close to it. Because you don't really want to get electrocuted. I mean, I trust the design of most things, but I also, I like to play it safe. And I saw this in a car window on my way to class. You stole my mother's bag out of this car. I didn't do it. Uh, my mother died 19, I mean, 60 months ago. Nothing in that bag is of any use to you. The accounts are closed. The iPad and phone are old and broken. The checks are old, uh, are void. For some reason, I can't read. No. Oh. Please give me back the bag that she was carrying with her when she died. Major guilt tripping here. <laughs> but let's be real here. So, let's say I'm the thief who stole the bag. And I suppose if you're stealing stuff, I mean, I guess you're not the smartest in the first place. Unless you're like, you know... Like, stealing a lot of money. Then, in case, you're very, very smart. But in this case, this is uh, not a, uh, not the actions of a very smart individual. And most things are... Don't don't really have a good resale value. So, I, I think if you really want to play it safe, you're just hoping for some money, right? But most of all, let's just say you stole that bag in hopes of finding a wallet, right? Uh, would you ever go back to the same fucking car? It's like, oh, I stole that bag. I don't know, two days ago. Oh, uh, the same car has a message on it. I'm just gonna go out there and read it. There's a good chance if uh, someone stole your crap, someone stole your bag, your uh, your papers or shit like that, uh, there's a good chance that it's uh, dumped nearby. Because if the thief is somewhat reasonable, they're just gonna take whatever they can not be tracked with, can easily sell for... A at least some amount of money. They're gonna steal your money, that's for sure. Uh, that, but, but they might not even take your phone because they can be tracked. So that would be stupid on their part. And obviously, like, you know, you wanna sell a bag for what? Like, you know, two peanuts? Uh, that's not really worth it. Like, they're stealing your money. They're chucking all your ID and your bag probably in a nearby uh, trash can. Something like that. So, worth checking. I, I, I know of stories that people lost their stuff. And uh, it was found nearby, you know, and ultimately, like, they experienced a, a sense of relief because, you know, I was stupid, I, I got my stuff stolen, and I, you know, they, they stole some money from me, but ultimately, like, they got their ideas, they got their bag, and that, that mattered more. And of course, like, <laughs> I'm not saying they deserved it, no way, uh, obviously, you gotta watch your stuff. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, if someone stole it, it's it's worth checking. It's worth checking with the police, and the police will probably uh, kind of recommend. They kind of look into it, but like if there are no cameras, then there's not much you can expect. My friend is allergic to everything. Holy shit. Is this what it looks like? I had one of these tests done on me, and apparently I'm allergic to nothing. Did I say that correctly? I'm apparently like a Terminator. Uh, there's nothing that can get me. Like, there are people who live their lives, like, watching out for stuff. And I don't have to watch out for a damn thing. Uh, probably a lot of my ancestors died <laughs> by peanuts. So I can uh, be, uh, uh, I don't know, a peanut enthusiast and just eat them all day. And don't have to worry about a damn thing. The one thing that I have to watch out for that I can like drink like two two liters of milk a day because that upsets my stomach a bit. So I have to watch my uh, <laughs> my lactose intake. But that's it, somewhat. But I don't know. Maybe maybe somewhat some somewhat have to watch it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God damn it! This is bad. Holy shit! I would not want to see. I guess I would want to see what the hell I'm, I need to be uh, watching out for after this test. I guess you want to know, but god damn it. Stepped on my cat coming downstairs with a bowl of fucking chili. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out. And when you're falling, what the fuck you do? 
Because you want to save your food, but you also want to save your face, right? You don't want to take an injury, so how do you fucking manage it? It's, it's always a dilemma <laughs> for me. What do I do? Ultimately, you don't have a lot of time. So, would you save your food or would you save your face? I guess at, I, I, I had some experience with self-defense. So, the very first thing they teach you, and they just kind of try to, like, fucking... Uh, establish this habit in you that when you're falling and this is what why I would somewhat recommend uh, learning a little bit of self-defense or like maybe not martial arts but like a little bit of self-defense at least that not even for the defense aspect but that you know how to fucking fall so when you fall you don't get injured you know you know how to protect your your spine your your head you know, you know, like instinctively just to uh, move your head forward so you don't just like bang it in when you f fall backwards. You know how to st uh, stop your fall. So that matters a lot when, when you're falling forward again. Like instinctively you try to defend, uh, you try to go for something that makes sense. But I think it's better if it's a, a practiced uh, behavior that, that actually makes more sense. So, god damn it. Reap in peace, Chili. <laughs> There's, there's no no saving this. I'm actually even more guilty of this myself. Uh, not 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 uh, spilling food on the ground. I, I'm not guilty of that at all. Actually, maybe maybe it happened to me once in my lifetime. But I'm more guilty in a way that sometimes I don't even fucking uh, turn on the lights because I I don't need to see. <laughs> I just I just walk around in the fucking darkness. It's a bit of a weird habit. Um, I don't know. Is that weird? My new computer component was delivered today. Thank you, USPS, for speed and care. <laughs> God damn it. In my experience, though, uh, most drivers try to be very reasonable. They're not like not trying to screw with you or uh, get fired, you know. They're just like, you know, they're just doing a job, you know. They are doing a tough job too because, holy shit, if, if ever you order the, like on a Amazon package and you see like that the driver has like, I don't know, 20 deliveries in an hour, it's like, holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? It's like, how are you managing that? I was like, oh, he's coming to you. He's coming to you. Just, uh, just delivering a few stuff before. It's like, okay, okay, cool, cool. So, yeah. God damn it. When you come home and your house doesn't smell like pot roast. <laughs> Slow cooking. <laughs> Not plugged in. Does it... Does this still technically considered slow cooking? Probably not. It would be too slow. God damn it. Wait. I don't know. I'm, I'm always a little cautious when I do... I, I guess if you're really experienced with cooking, then this is fine. And I suppose it kind of depends on how... How long away, how long ago you left home. But like, not like, you know, it's like, fuck yeah, I'm leaving in the morning. I'm coming back in the afternoon. I just cook something. Uh, that's not my style. <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. Is it really possible to do that? Any 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 badasses in the chat, in the comments, uh, do that? I know that some some uh, some 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 soups or some some cookings take take that long, but they usually require at least uh, intermittent attention, right? To you know, like, oh my god, is this going right? Or can you just like you know just make make the food in the morning and just come back home? It's like oh hey, I got I got dinner now. Uh, that seems a little a uh, little much, but maybe I'll look into it. Need to keep the light on when I get ready for work. <laughs> Actually, you can just call it style. I'm pretty sure you can get away with it. You can just go with like different uh, colored socks. Can you really get away with this style? I mean, they kind of look similarish as well. Although that 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 kind of uh, shoe is definitely not my style. I'm more of a sneaker kind of guy. Uh, that that just looks like uh, I'm I'm trying to be too big of a hipster, uh, which I am, but not not to that extent. So that's not my style. <laughs> and also, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like different shoes. 
God damn it. I, I think he can pull it off. It, it's not even that uh, noticeable. Unless he draws attention to it. Don't tie your shoelaces in Paris or your girlfriend will cry. Really? I'm I'm not too happy about my uh, shoelaces untangling and I having to uh, do them again. But come on. Chill. It's not that big of a deal, okay? What's her deal, hmm? Fuck my engineering diploma. <laughs> do not bend. <laughs> to be fair, do you really want to be one of those people? Do you really need your diploma any, at any time to show it off? That's just like, you know, the formal looking paper is like, oh, look at that. Uh, I did the thing, right? It's like, do you remember one of those douchebags who like put it on the wall when like make, make videos or like, you know, when they're in their office? It's like, oh, look at me. You see what's on the wall? I was like, no, you might as well take that fucking paper and put it in the trash, right? You don't need that. <laughs> I might be wrong about this. <laughs> I might be wrong about this. So apparently I looked into it and just having a copy of your uh, diploma is totally fine. Uh, not everyone's gonna ask for that, but they might ask for that. Uh, so you may want to take a copy of it, then throw it in the trash, or maybe just display it on the wall. Ultimately, that's not recommended, throwing it in the trash. Um, so don't do that, but don't display it on the wall. <laughs> Dentist told me, uh, see that there? That's not normal. Worst pain of my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no. Fuck that. After seeing that, just, I don't know. Just stop my pain. I don't care. Take out some hook. Take out that fucking hammer and try to take it out. I don't care. It needs to come out. Fun the perfect conclusion. Tennis racket head broke. Night looks like an award for masturbation. But that is exactly what it is. Like, of course, the guy looks like he's holding his dick. But why do you need an award for it? Think about it. Are you gonna show it to people? Pretty awkward. Or you gonna just uh, quietly enjoy it yourself? I say you don't really need awards. You don't need like a fucking uh, uh, I don't know rewards and uh, just like recognition, uh, like in form of this. <laughs> but maybe that's just my uh, opinion on it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is pretty perfect. You know, the guy may not have a dick, but you can, uh... <laughs> I guess you can use uh, yours. <clears throat> Don't do that. Very inappropriate. Obviously. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, see you next time.